Hello and welcome to this episode of Auto Tutorials by Living Nation Studios. I am Lydia and in this particular video, I'm going to show you how to edit your mesh without messing up your particle system. Let's get started. If I want to edit a air mesh, for instance, I usually separate the scalp from the head. So now the air is attached to this cap and our body mesh is different. So let's say I want to edit the S cap. If I'm adding more edges to the scalp, for instance, Control R, just adding this, the air will still be intact. Even if I extrude out this um, part of the air, let's say I want to add some baby air to the air, and I decide to extrude this out, and move it out, the hair will still be intact because the hair is not attached to that, those parts of the hair system. But the problem starts, or you start having a problem when I start removing edges. So if I decide to remove this control X to remove the edge loop, now you see the hair is messed up, it's looking horrible. Then let's say I add another one here and I decide to remove it. Say, she's looking crazy, that crazy woman, like a crazy woman. So now, the best way to do this, like in how to transfer air from one mesh to another, just go to your particular system, disconnect the air, do whatever edits you want to do, remove, add, subtract, multiply, just do everything you want to do and when you are done, Go back to the particle air system and connect the air back. So it's just going to keep your particle air system, it's not going to be messed up, and you can easily just edit your mesh, do whatever you want to your mesh, and your particle air system will still be intact. So that's it for this video. So I hope you gain one or two things from this. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Level Nation Studios if not done so, and Share, share to your friends, family, enemies. <laughs> so that's it. Until next time, stay true to your creativity. Bye bye.